Welcome to the full training of Windows 10 series. This is Zia Maliki from Information Technology. You are watching the third part of the full training of Windows 10 series. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to pin a program to start menu and how to make your own productivity group in the start menu tiles. In today's tutorial, I will show you two ways on how to pin a program to the taskbar and how to remove or unpin a program from the taskbar. So let's get started. The Windows taskbar at the bottom of your screen is a very helpful tool as well for getting access to our favorite programs, applications, and the places we visit often. Let's take a trip back to our start menu and look at the newly produced important software grouping that we have put at the top in the part 2 of this learning series. Let's say I want to represent Excel down here on my taskbar permanently. So I don't even have to click on the start menu in access Excel. Since I use it so often, it should be convenient for me right there on the taskbar. Well, it's an easy process to get a program to be pinned to your taskbar at the bottom of your screen. You can either do it one of the two ways. If you see the icon, you can simply right click on it. Hold over your mouse on more and choose pin to taskbar. If you are using an older version of Windows 10, you will not see this option that says more. In that case, you can just right click and choose pin this program to the taskbar. And you will notice straight away when I click on pin to taskbar. It shows up right down here in addition to being on my start menu. Now I have two quick ways to get to Microsoft Excel. Perhaps you didn't think ahead and you just went on and launched the program. Let's go back to the start menu and launch Microsoft Word. I will click on Microsoft Word and open it up and start running Microsoft Word in a window. Now that I have Word running, I know I'm gonna come back to Word very often. So I'm going to come down here to the icon on the lower portion of the screen on the taskbar. And once again, right mouse click. By right clicking, I can choose Bring to the taskbar, which is going to produce the exact same result as I did with Excel. It will remain here permanently. So, by clicking on Paint to Taskbar, even after exiting Microsoft Word, Word stays put on the taskbar. Let's look at that one more time. By going to the Start menu and choosing PowerPoint, it will launch Microsoft PowerPoint for me. And you can see PowerPoint is now running on my taskbar. If I fail to pin the PowerPoint to a taskbar and choose to close it right here, PowerPoint will then disappear from my taskbar because I did not first pin it to the taskbar. Now I don't need all my programs pinned to the taskbar. It's a convenient thing for those programs that you need to access frequently. So if I don't use PowerPoint that often, there is no need to pin it to my taskbar. But if it's a program that I use all the time, I might as well just right click on it choose pin to taskbar and there it is 
available to me whenever I want it. Let's say I change my mind though and I don't want it there anymore. It's just as easy. You right click on the icon and choose unpin from the taskbar. And there you go. The program has disappeared from the taskbar. There is one more way to unpin a program from the taskbar. Go to the start menu, right click on the program you want to unpin from the taskbar, choose more, unpin from the taskbar. And you just unpinned the program from the taskbar. Now, I will encourage you guys to take a moment and review how to get your applications or programs pinned to the taskbar. Two ways that I share with you. One, by right clicking and choosing Paint to Taskbar. Or two, was launching the program by simply clicking on it. And while it's running, right click and choose Paint to Taskbar. Give it a try yourself and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials.